Are you constantly running around after your kids and shutting off light switch because they forgot how to use them? Well, if so, today I'm going to show you how to fix that problem with this. All right, do you like to do stuff yourself and save a little bit of money? Well, you've come to the right place because that's what this channel is about. Uh, if nothing else, I hope you're at least entertained. I have a lot of how-to videos and do-it-yourself type projects here on the channel, so please take time and look around. Anyways, let's take a look, see what we have for today's video. All right, so today's video is going to show you, I'm just going to show you how I'm going to put in this uh, sensor unit in here so it'll pick up motion. When it picks the motion up, it'll turn the light on, and after a while, it'll shut the light back off. This is a light that I'm constantly shutting off. I'm kind of getting tired of it. And it's just using electricity for no, uh, no reason. So the first thing you want to do is shut your power off. So I've already done that. There's no power here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead now and uh, take the cover off and get working on it. All right, once you get the cover off, you want to take it out of the um, box. And you can do that just by loosening up these screws. There's one up top and, and bottom. Just take those off. All right, and then get this out of the wall. Let's just take a quick peek of what the new one comes with. Uh, it comes with um, your wires, uh, a new wet cover, of course, because it's not that kind of a front end, and of course, some wire nuts to uh, hook everything up. All right, after you've got it pulled out of the wall, you want to disconnect the wires. So once you get the other the old switch out, you're going to start putting the new one in. Um, so the white in this case is the is the neutral. Normally it would go here, but the way this is wired, hot comes in and then this powers this one out to the light. Um, and I, you know, so then um, this is going to be tied to my hot, and this one here is goes to the load, which would be the one that turns on uh, when the sensor picks up movement. So that's going to the light. This is not meant to be an educational video. It's meant to be for entertainment. So I encourage you to hire an electrician to do any wiring in your home. Um, but this is how you can do it. All right, so I jumped ahead here a little bit. Um, so it's all why would you saw that? I kind of ran a quick test. Now I'm just um, screwing it back to the wall. And in my case, I have a shallow um, box. So I can't screw this all the way in. What I'm gonna have to do uh, in the future is I'm going to make out of wood a wood plate to trim this out and then the cover will go on top. But I'll show you the cover too here in just a second. Um, actually this is the cover right here. Put it on right now. Cover goes on just like that. But I think we got to put the um, sensor back on here. I mean not the sensor, the this cover here. Uh, so when you take this off, when you take this cover off here, this is where your adjustments are here, and you have them for um, test mode, and then the length of time, the range, how far away it'll pick up movement, and how bright you want the light to be. I'm going to put the time, boy if I put that print any smaller, I'm going to put the time for now for 10 minutes range I'll leave in the middle and I want it on the brightest setting. So we're going to go ahead now and put this back in place and that covers up those adjustments. And then we're going to go ahead and put the cover back on. So that's all in place. We're going to go and turn the power back on and test this out. Alright so the power is on. We're going to kill this and you can see the sensor light came on. That's a good sign. So it's sensing movement here, which is a good sign. Now I guess what I'm going to have to do is just sit down and stay still and wait 10 minutes. All right, so uh, I had to reset my timer, but that's about right. Uh, now let's uh, see if it comes on. Bam, just like that. Now she'll be on for another 10 minutes. Uh, I'm actually going to adjust that down to five minutes I think. Bottom line is uh, this is how you can install a motion detector to turn on a light in your house because you have kids that don't know how to use light switch. There you have it. So This is a way you could save on electricity by installing one of these in your home and uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, for Amazon where I purchased this so if you're interested in getting one yourself you certainly can but uh, it's as simple as that. 
Well, thanks for taking the time to swing by my channel. I hope you found that video educational. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That's greatly appreciated. Also, comment if you have a question. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And I have a lot of other uh, videos out there on the channel um, that you may have an interest in. In fact, there'll be two right up here you can take a look at. And if you want to get to know me a little bit more, you can always swing over to my other channel, All About Teardrops. On that channel, I talk uh, in the early stages, I'm talking about choosing the right camper for going full-time RV and then the path that you need to take or the path that we need to take to get from where we are today to where we want to be, which will be eventually full-time RVers. So anyways, I'd swing over that channel. I'll put the link down in the description. And as always, have a great day.